And now to the very latest on breaking developments. We told you a woman was shot and killed in front of two small children on the city's south side. Well, it is a story we've been following since 530 this morning. ABC 13's Charlie Entity is live at the scene. And Charlie, this appears to be yet another case of deadly domestic violence. Yes, Samika, just some incredibly disturbing details here. And so thankfully, those two children who were inside the apartment at the time of the shooting, they are okay. Uh, but what we've learned out here from investigators is that they believe the shooter in this case is <coughs> the woman's ex-boyfriend who is now on the run this morning. And so the scene's still very active out here on Houston's south side. You can see there's still crime scene tape and also some evidence markers there on the sidewalk of the breezeway of this complex. So here is the information that we have up to this point. We are at the Wesley Square Apartments off of Calhoun and the South Loop this morning. Officers with HPD Southeast Patrol Unit responded out here at 4.07 this morning. That's when they found a woman who had been shot in her back inside one of the apartment units here. So officers did render aid and medics with Houston Fire then rushed her to the hospital where she was pronounced dead. Now we've learned that she was inside an apartment with another woman, two men, as well as those two young children and the woman's ex-boyfriend apparently showed up here and they got into an argument. Well, that's when the boyfriend, according to investigators, went out to the parking lot and take a listen to what detectives believe happened next. Through the outside window, he begins to shoot inside the apartment complex and that's where she is struck with, uh, uh, with a gunshot, uh, with a bullet. And it's believed that the shooter did fire anywhere between four to five rounds and the kids, they were inside the apartment at the time of this shooting, but thankfully they were not injured. And so uh, what investigators tell us is they say the shooter then left the scene out here and detectives right now are trying to get a good description on the suspect vehicle. So of course we'll continue to stay out here and gather updated information, but that's the latest that we have right now. We're live from Houston Southeast side this morning, Charlie at city ABC 13. I Witness News. All right, Charlie, thanks so much for that live report. Another.